All right, coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Gilbert Burns and Tyron Woodley. arena a second home for their careers posturing up now and now the damage is about to start well it looks like Woodley's attempting to pass here but he's denied by the defense oh man this ground and pound is good probably my favorite striking realm in MMA and he's as good as it gets the problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture he's allowing his opponent to get up and when he does, he creates distance and space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Nice hammer fist. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Woodley gets back up, no surprise there. And now he's got that tight punch. Straight punch land. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Tyron Woodley. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Ooh, big knee. Big knee. And that one was heavy. Oh, he lands another huge knee. How much more can he take? Postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Burns. Twenty seconds left. Nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Round two is next. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. Are you ready? You ready? Second round underway. Big punch lands over the top. I'm just gonna follow this job by Whitney striking on the outside here, DC. That's really a big part of this game, to be able to serve. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down, now. He's giving him so many different things right now. What a fight we got going on here! Oh, big left! 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. That one snuck in. Nice fight. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Clean with the right hook. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. There by Woodlands. Punch coming, it's blocked. Big cross from West Lance. Now he gets back to range. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. One, two, punch by Woodlands. So aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment. Bruce Buffer has your official...